We're still talking to Dr. Oriolua Fini, who is it's the advisor <laughs> <laughs> for the SDG to the Governor of Lagos State. So, Topo had a question. Yes, I want to go to the environment. Um, let me, there are many issues within our environment, but let's just talk about three. Um, what I want to talk about the fact that Lagos is largely filled with increasing number of squatters, slums, you know, this settlement that happen everywhere under the bridge. In, anywhere they can just get a shade. People live Sleep. there and it, it impacts on the environment. I also wanted to um, ask about the, another challenge that we face. So squatters and slums, number one. Number two, access to clean water mm. is a major issue. We, yeah. There's been Especially a lot of work on, on sanitation in the major areas. Yeah. We see Loma's work, but when you go inside, there are many... Um, there's need for improvement with um, sanitation and access to clean water. Lagos is borehold to a fault. Mm. And it also would impact on Everywhere. the sea level challenges that we are, we know we are below sea. And um, I'd like to have what you, what the different MDAs are doing to address these three concerns. Okay, thank you. So the Ministry of Environment has been very hot and in the light um, recently, spotlights recently with trying to clear slums. First, Lagos is a state within a country, mm -hmm. and you cannot keep anybody out. Mm. What you want to do is to encourage only people who have definite things that they're coming to do here. Um, to do here, it poses there is no sustainable city that will be overwhelmed by um, informal housing, mm. as it is called. Mm. You know, we, we move away from calling them slums to informal housing. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> Better understood. <laughs> UN, uh, UN speak now. So informal housing. So what they, as they have done because of some of the issues, even the quality of life of those who live in those places is not the best, is to continue to clear them and to encourage only people who have truly something to do here mm. to, be, yeah. uh, to be in Lagos. Water. Now, rightly, um, Lagos... Pipe bomb water has been a challenge for, for Lagos for the simple reason that production of water is uh, very expensive. Mm -hmm. It's an expensive project. I believe that um, Lagos requires 400 million cubic meters of water per day, the city wow. um, of really Lagos good. requirements. But right now, we're only generating 125. Wow. Um, Wheelies. Yes. So comes to SDG 17. Partnership for the goals. So what we would like is to see more people come to play within that space oh, and say, okay, we're interested in whether it's the water treatment or it's the metering or it's some aspect of that providing of clean water. We've had a few people come in, but you see, it's such a big thing that um, not many people are able to handle. But there are already um, more and more mini um, water treatment plants are coming up. Mm. Yes, are coming up. More and more. We have about four coming up this year. Um, some on the island, mm. uh, some on uh, nearer to Iju as well. And that will improve production. But we still need more people to come in, in from the private sector. Lagos has a history of good public and private um, partnerships. Partnership, partnership yes. relationship. You know. Yes. So we call on them, SDG 17, to partner with us to provide uh, clean water for uh, Lagosians as a business. Mm. So, so that's it. And then the third question, uh, related to the water, mm -hmm. you know, and then drilling of bowls. So the more people have pipe bomb water, the less we'll drill the boreholes. Mm. And then, of course, um, our sea level then stabilizes. Okay, I want to talk about the decent work and economic growth. Yes. And uh, looking at Nigeria as a whole, I'm not limiting to Lagos State, and seeing how a lot of women come out to complain that they do not have enough decent work environment. I mean, something happened yesterday. I went to one of our um, my, um, business partner's office, and a friend of mine was actually talking about how our inner wear was getting uncomfortable. And I remember that I was just cautioning her to think about the man who was at the reception desk, mm -hmm. like he oh. was just saying it. And abruptly, the man just said, but do you think I'm not enjoying the conversation? 
In quotes, he sent me a signal like, Esa, you are not even supposed to be here. <laughs> because you're already transmitting what she has said in another light. Mm. So looking at women who complain about sexual harassment, especially from their superiors, and um, I think very recently in Nigeria, in the federal um, 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 corridor, we had mm. somebody call out their orgas. Yeah. And we've not really heard anything about what happened next. Afterwards. So how are these work environments mm. safe? Um, against sexual harassment for both even women and, and men, men, because I know men are also sexually harassed. Thank you. Um, one of the topics in the summit we're having on Thursday next week is the workplace. Mm. Okay. okay. Um, what we've realized is that in concerning ESG, that is the practices in, within the private sector, people have all their various focus areas we need to align them to what you've just spoken about. Um, it's not just to say that this organization or this office does certain things. We're not saying that it's not good to plant trees. Mm -hmm. We're also not saying that it's not good to give out things to the less needy. We're saying we should, as a state now, align our vision for um, sustainable and a good workplace, a decent workplace. workplace for everybody concerned, whether it's the wages, whether it's the terms of employment, whether there are gender issues, that, that we address. And of course, I'm sure you know that Lagos State has a very vibrant domestic and sexual um, violence yeah, agency yeah. that yeah. deals with a lot of these matters. And that agency continues to be empowered to deliver. They just, um, last year, they got 10 convictions you know, and more and more and more. When people are arrested, they let us know. Any issues that are brought, you know, this is moving beyond just workplace and mm -hmm. having, yeah. and it's not just women who face challenges in the workplace. People men. You know, yeah, there are issues. So our second panel at the summit will be ad addressing workplace, um, economically, and all the other issues that people face there to try and find uh, a solution okay. and let um, both public and private sector know that um, these are the policies that we would align on. Okay. So talking about okay, so topic. we're saying um, so about the security challenge in Lagos. Let's talk about the security challenge in Lagos because, as we all know, recently there's this kidnapping issue. We have the kidnapping, we have the robbery, traffic robbery, we have cyber crime, and all of those things. So what are the measures that you have put in place to at least, even if it's just to improve or to, you know, reduce these things from happening in the society? Lagos okay. State. So, um, Lagos is relatively safe. Let me start from there. But it doesn't mean that we should not address um, challenges or concerns. The first thing is, Lagos State has a security trust fund mm. where, like, SDG 17 partnership, you mm -hmm. can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. The state is not in charge of the police. However, the state is in charge of security. You know, it's like a dichotomy. But because Lagos recognizes that we must work together mm. with the police and other law enforcement agencies to provide security, we have a trust fund that equips and makes, makes sure that the police have the right things that they need to use to secure. However, let me say there is really no, you cannot secure any place without community involvement. Absolutely. Mm. Community must be involved. So we have our Lagos State uh, neighborhood watch. 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 Mm. They are in the community. Mm. They are providing information. They are securing where they are at grassroots level. And they're working hand in hand with the police. And also, Lagos also has a good information network. Wherever there are black spots, mm. hot spots, there's, we zoom light into those places and make sure that, okay, more um, security is provided. Then let's move to jobs because sometimes people give the excuse that because they are unemployed, mm. that is why they've turned to Criminals. crime yeah. and all those things. Mm. Um, we have our employ employment trust fund as well. We have okay. um, our agency dedicating, de dedicated completely to making sure that people are trained and ready for workforce. We have all sorts of things going on uh, with our ministries, whether women, um, women affairs and poverty alleviation, where women now are trained different skills. Mm. Skills acquisition centers in Lagos as well are there. So it's, a, it's not just to prevent, um, to go into the streets and with uh, weapons or um, force, 
but it's to even prevent crime from in happening the first, first place, place yeah. by making sure that people are skilled mm. enough to have alternatives. Mm. Yes, they don't have to turn to crime, mm. you know, so... Yeah. So I know you have a question about the summit, but we'll take summit. it last. Yes. yes. Let, let, let me talk about uh, tourism for yes. a minute. Mm. Uh, we mm. like they to travel. For sure. We go to sure. places <laughs> and we see, <laughs> we see nothing really different from what we have in our country yes. most yes. of the time. Yes. And I'm wondering um, how, what have you done so far in terms of attracting people to come here? Yes. And also in terms of positioning the facilities for tourism that we have here yes. so that more people can come. And, uh, you know, just there's a way you brand it and make it exciting and do videos and post it and attract people to Lagos, Nigeria. What are you doing in that regard? Okay, so we're doing a lot of that. Okay. And mm -hmm. tourism is so massive that it requires back to SDG 17 mm, partnership. partnership. That anchors everything. Um, for Lagos, we'll start with and link to youth, link to a lot of things. Some of the training, people, um, youth are being trained in all the creative arts. Mm. You know, we have two, three different um, organizations who train youth in partnership with Lagos State in some of these things. We're going to very shortly launch an events calendar. So that way, you know, if you open, if, let's take the UK for example. Mm -hmm. Today, you know next year yeah, all the tourism. All the carnivals exactly. that would Exactly, mm. everything. So you can plan a year ahead. And you know when you plan, it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. You are encouraged to come. So our Oju Deoba, our Osho, although those are not Lagos based, fest, but they're federal. Yeah. You know, for Lagos based, our Ayo, for Lagos, our water. So uh, it will be opened up to the public. Yes, to come oh, and see. Oh yes. Oh, wow. Oh yes. Be hey, it's not a masquerade for in-house. It's ah. going to go from street to street. Yeah, but they tell us to hide now. To no, <laughs> not for you. <laughs> I think you are mixing it with Oro. Oro, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Oro festival, I know that they tell you to don't I come out. Come out. Yes, yes, with Oro. So, but hey, your people hey, can your, come. It's, a, it's oh. a thing of beauty to okay. behold. And you, yes, so you will. You mm -hmm. will, and hopefully before the end of the year as well. Okay. So we're coming up with a calendar as well Amazing. in Lagos for all the various festivals. And I think when the calendar then comes out, you then know some new things will then, you know, Proper. come up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things that you don't know. Because a lot of some of our festivals as well occur locally within their own vicinity. Meaning, mm. Ikorodu has its own festivals. Yeah. Badagri has its own yeah. festivals. There is really no festival that cuts across the, the whole, whole of Lagos. Lagos. Ah. Even Ayo is strictly like, on the island. island. Oh, okay. You know, so... We so you merge it in the calendar now. Ev so you know everywhere. Mm. And then even places of interest. Mm. Our J. Randall uh, Museum for Yoruba Culture is there. Mm. We have our uh, point of no return in Badagri mm -hmm. with the Slavery Museum. We have the first um, uh, buildings, building. first mm -hmm. story building in Badagri mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And various places of... Uh, Monuments. Of, of the shrine. They also of have a course. museum there. Yes. What's yes. the name of that? Is it Kalakuta Museum Kalakuta. now? Yes. 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 That's there. And then look at what has happened with the National Theatre. Isn't mm -hmm. that beautiful? You know? you know. So that's one extra thing for us to see and to do in Lagos. Mm. So tourism is massive. And um, we're also looking for investments um, in the tourism sec um, sector as well. Mm. You know, for people to come in and invest. There's, there's a lot. Lagos. We have December. our celebration. December. Yes, that's what exactly. I mentioned. Yes, we have our <laughs> celebration. Yes. 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 To be in the calendar as well. Yes, yes. it will be there. Mm. It will be there. Mm. It's, um, look at uh, we, uh, Wida Books that also does the Ake Book Festival. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. The Lagos well, International uh, Trade Fair, mm -hmm. yes. every which happens every year. Every year. Yes. So, so we're coming up with the And that calendar will help. Okay. It will really help for those yes. here and for those in the diaspora. Yeah. Like they plan to come home for December mm -hmm. and all the they concerts. They know there are a lot of activities. Yeah. That so, it's not only December. So we now don't want it to be just December. We want mm -hmm. everybody to come home year round. Yes. Yes. Let the... You know, let people be boosted year round. And it's not just, you know, when tourism happens, everybody, the entire community benefits yes, from it. Sure. You know, it's a boost to hotels. It's a boost to the people selling locally as well. Our artists get to sell more of these um, things that we're wearing oh, yeah. now, you know. Yeah. Mm. So, so. so, Dami, a question? Okay, my <laughs> question basically is on, um, if we're talking about tourism, and I think there's an inculcation of security. Yes. Because quite a few people that I have seen that we have marketed Lagos to or projected mm. Nigeria to, especially foreigners, the first thing is that security. And yes. um, it's good that you're also mentioning that the Lagos State's architecture for 
for security is really robust now and they are going into dark spots. But adequately, what um, measures of security would be available to people who had never even been to Lagos ever, ever in their lifetime? I've heard somebody say, oh, the moment you're hiring a private bouncer is like you're putting eyes on you and oh, people wow. begin to notice that probably you're a person of notable figure, you have money, <laughs> to also um, dissuade kidnappers from putting their eyes on you. So what are you, is there any plan to mitigate and let foreigners actually be invested in coming to Nigeria or Lagos State particularly? Lagos is safe for business. Lagos is safe for tourism. Lagos is safe for visitors. Mm. And every year, um, we welcome visitors, especially towards um, the end of the year. And we rarely hear of those kind of events. But what I would say is this. What we need, OK, what we need to do is to give you a link um, to who we can come to say, OK, mm. once we have the diary, yeah. there'll be a link there to say, OK, we're coming to Lagos. And they can hold your hand mm -hmm. and lead you safely how to really? chat Lagos. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. So, okay, so uh, the summit sorry, you talked question. about, we have to go. <laughs> summit you talked about, when yeah. is the summit? Uh, how do we get involved? Okay, so the Lagos at Sustainability time. Summit is next week, Thursday okay. at 10 a.m. at Eco Hotel and Suites. Um, registration is at lagossustainabilitysummit.com and um, we, you send you a link. Mm, we look okay. forward to everybody coming in, participating, and that together we can then chat a a sustainable policy for Lagos. Is it free? Amazing. Free. Free. Yeah. Oh, yes, wow. free. Is there lunch? Is there breakfast? Is there? There is breakfast <laughs> and <laughs> lunch. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank Thank you for speaking having speaking with Dr. Oriolu Afini, <laughs> yes. uh, who is the uh, special advisor to the governor of Lagos State on the sustainable uh, development goals. Thank you so much for being Thank with you us, Ma. Thank you for having me. Yeah. 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 You have enlightened us Thank about you. what Lagos is doing Thank and all. You.